Hi everybody, I'm an accountant and I'm obsessed with ChatGPT and I'm playing with it as much as possible to figure out what are all those practical things I could do with it that would really boost my productivity. I'm going to show you one particularly cool approach, which is using ChatGPT to help you write scripts that can run inside of any active website you're working on. Now, I don't know anything about programming. As a matter of fact, I know zero about programming. However, ChatGPT knows a whole lot about coding and programming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a script. I'm going to have ChatGPT write a script for me that will run multiple actions inside of a particular web page. So let's say, for example, I'm sitting in QuickBooks Online and I have multiple vendors that have been made inactive or deleted. Unfortunately, QuickBooks Online, for whatever crazy reason, doesn't have a way to make a whole bunch of inactive vendors active again. You can make active vendors inactive, but you cannot make inactive vendors active again. So if I wanted to make all these vendors active, I literally have to click on make active one by one. Okay. And if I have a lot of them, that's going to take forever and that's just dumb. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to have ChatGPT write a script for me that will automate that process for me. And I'm going to grab these two and make them inactive. Okay. And then just imagine I have a whole bunch of uh, vendors that are made, uh, they're inactive right now or deleted as QuickBooks Online calls it. And I'm going to go to ChatGPT and ask it exactly what I wanted to do. So I'm going to come to ChatGPT and say, I need you to write a script in, and this is a key concept, book, mark, let, format. This is a thing that allows uh, anybody using Google Chrome browser or Microsoft Edge browser to run a script inside of it. And it's a really cool concept. It's called a bookmarklet. And then I'm going to put to automate multiple actions inside, inside of a web page. Okay. And then uh, ChatGPT goes, okay, I know exactly what you're talking about. I can do this. Just tell me exactly what you wanted it to do. Okay. And it's, it's giving me some background information. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go back into um, QuickBooks Online. I'm going to right click on the link that I wanted to press or, 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 or press in batch per se. I'm going to right click on that. And then I'm going to click on view, uh, sorry, in inspect. I'm going to click on inspect. And this is going to pop up uh, somewhere if you have two, if you have two monitors, it will, it might pop up in a second monitor. Or sometimes it'll, um, it'll kind of pop up to the side of the screen. So you just have to, you want to, want to come in here and you want to see, essentially, this is like uh, the code. Okay. This is like how uh, the web, web page outputs information so the user can interact with the contents of the web page. And it's currently highlighting for me the portion of the web page that, uh, that's a tied to that particular link, to the make active link. So I'm going to right click on that and click on copy, copy element. And I'm going to X out of that. And I'm going to come back here. And then I'm going to tell ChatGPT, okay, what is it that I wanted to do? So I'm going to put, I need it to click, click or uh, trigger any, or I'm going to put any, I'm going to put all instances of this button. Okay, let me just fix the misspelling here. And I'm going to paste that and press enter. And then ChatGPT completely understands what I'm saying. And then it's going to go through the motions and actually write the script for me. Okay, so now it's writing the script. We're going to let it completely finish writing the script. Um, again, I don't know what this means. I don't know how script works. Okay, I've, over time I've been learning, you know, I've been able to catch some patterns, but this is the script, this is the code, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the code, I'm gonna click on copy code, and then it gets copied into my clipboard, and then I go back into uh, QuickBooks, and then I'm gonna create a bookmark. So I'm just gonna do a regular standard bookmark. I'm gonna click on bookmark, and I'm gonna click on bookmark this tab, okay? When I create the bookmark, I'm gonna call this um, make all active. Now it doesn't matter what you call it, but I'm just, just trying to stay, uh, to make it simple for me to understand what I'm doing with it. Then I'm going to click on done. Now, depending on how big your bookmark list is, like for example, mine was created all the way at the bottom. 
So I'm going to click and drag and bring it uh, up here to the forefront so I can just quickly identify it. And then I'm going to right click on that bookmark and click on edit. Okay. The standard bookmark process is just going to take the current URL you're in and that's your bookmark. But I'm going to replace the URL that was created with the bookmark with the code, the bookmark click code uh, that was written by ChatGPT. So I'm going to click on save. Essentially, this thing here now is the, the link of the bookmark. Then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back into this page and check this out. Okay. So notice that there's a whole bunch of vendors here that have been made inactive. And I told it, if it, when I press that script, it's going to basically press all those make active for me. So let's check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and just stare at the screen, stare at that part that says make, make inactive. And you're going to see that flip. Ready? So I'm going to go one, two, three, click. Okay, and in one shot, all of my vendors have been made active. If that doesn't excite you and make you jump off your desk up and down, you have no soul. I'm sorry. I tried. See you in the next one.